everybody, welcome back to Tassel's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. It's my favorite time of the year where I get to reflect on all of the beautiful wigs that I've looked at in the prior year and select my favorites. So there are so many of them that I wanted to break it up into two categories this year. Today we're going to look at my favorite short styles and pixies from 2020. Top 10 coming up. So my list of favorites might not look exactly like yours, but this is just a sampling of some of my favorite short styles and pixies from 2020. Now keep in mind that 2020 was not your average year. Um, I think a lot of companies held back on some of their new releases uh, due to the pandemic issues and production and, and safety and that kind of thing. I know John Renault didn't release anything um, in the fall. So I didn't include John Reno styles in this because I didn't really see a style that came out uh, from them that would match these criteria. So my top 10 today, you're gonna see quite a few from Beltress. Um, I really love some of those Beltress new short styles that came out. They certainly weren't shy about releasing new styles this year. Ellen Villa had a, a few winners in there for me as well. And I really liked a couple from Raquel Welch and then a few others. So let's go ahead and start with what I'm wearing here, which is the Gabor Sweet Talk Luxury Edition. It's in the color GL1422SS Soft Shade Sandy Blonde. Now I am a huge fan of Sweet Talk, the original, and I think that came out 2016, 2017-ish. Um, I don't recall exactly, but we fell in love with this big voluminous bob with all of this choppy deconstructed curl. Love, absolutely love it. Some of the problems I think that people had with this style is just how to work with it around the face. The curl pattern can be variable uh, from style to style. And that's really the only thing, negative things that I have heard about it. But if you're patient with this style, I think it can really, really work for you. It doesn't take long to train up around the face to get a nice natural look. The volume is supported by a lot of permatease, even on this fully hand-tied top version, a lot of permatease all around that keeps it lifted uh, all day long. Part of the appeal of this style. So the Sweet Talk Luxury is a full lace front temple to temple extended into the ear tab. And uh, this is a full monofilament top that's hand tied as well. Now the original Sweet Talk has that same lace front but a left monofilament side part. So you are gonna see some differences uh, between the two. Now the price differences are negligible. I actually have a video coming out soon that'll do a full comparison and breakdown of the two of these. Absolutely love this style. I've been wearing it the most recently as well. I think it looks great with all these turtlenecks and collars. And in the summertime, it's just as cute as can be with those flowy summer tops. It's just a timeless, every season kind of a style. So this is the first Beltrust style to debut in my top 10 short and pixies for 2020. All right, this one is called Clover. I think Clover was released sometime in the fall. Um, it's in the color Butterbeer Blonde, by the way. And shortly after that, my husband and I went on a trip to Las Vegas. I took this wig with me and um, ended up winning a jackpot the day that I wore this. So this must be a four leaf clover because it was really a lucky style. <laughs> I really love this style, so easy to wear. It looks so cute with all these fringy layers that kind of convene around the face, right around five inches on the face, right around a two inch nape. It has a lace front, left monofilament side part, heat friendly, just love wearing it. I think this is just an all purpose kind of a style, but it's modernized with all of this texture. Texture and razoring. It's really lightweight, very tuckable. Just a no fuss, no muss. 
put it on and forget it. Low Permatees, a really beautiful addition to my favorites for this year. So thank you, Beltrus, for Clover. Coming up, number three. Next up, another style by Beltrus. This one's called Cherry. It's in the color Butter Beer Blonde. I just nearly jumped for joy when I first applied this style and started to mess with it a little bit with my fingers. I just couldn't believe that all of these features kind of come together in this super beautiful, super wearable short style. Honestly, I think this style is uh, takes John Renault Ignite to the next level. John Renault Ignite has a lace front and tons and tons of volume and permatease. And while I still like that style, um, I really was looking for something that was a little more realistic and less, uh, less poofy. And I think I found it with this one. Um, so John Renault has a lace front and all of that permatease, whereas the Beltrust Cherry has the same exact style here, basically, um, with a very low permatease Permatease profile and it has a lace front left monofilament side part. So I have enjoyed this immensely. Like I said, it has taken everything that I loved about the Ignite by John Renault and just made it better. Um, so I was absolutely tickled with this style, right around seven inches in the front, about a one and a half inch nape. So you'll have to watch that nape measurement. It's heat friendly, it's low density, it's low permatease, soft, silky, heat friendly fiber. Frames the face beautifully. So this is definitely one that you don't wanna miss. Let's say you like John Renault Ignite. Um, you just like a short angled bob look, something very practical and easy to wear, but still gives you all this beautiful fringe around the face. Absolutely gorgeous. So here was a pixie that came out by Beltress this year. I think it was closer to fall. Um, that really surprised me. I really love the Beltress pixies. I think they do very well with them. They make them very versatile and wearable. So this is bulletproof in the color champagne with apple pie. Now the reason why I love this one so much is that it's completely versatile. They always do an amazing lace front um, and this particular one also has that left monofilament side part. The fibers are made in a way that make them very impressionable. This one actually has a little bit of a thicker, uh, hardier density than some of the lighter density, finer fiber styles. Uh, by Beltress, and I see why. I mean, you can just rake your fingers through and create instant texture. This style is so fun to wear. So right around two and a half inches on the bangs, and those that says it scoots just above the eyebrow, kind of an eyebrow bang. And then a one and a quarter inch nape. Now that nape is really short. I get ample coverage. Even though these short napes by Beltress, um, sometimes the measurement might be a little daunting, but they do create some really nice coverage because of the way they sew them into the caps and the way they scoop around the ears and so forth. So if you have a longer hairline in the back, you could probably just shave the back a little bit and be fine. This one actually has a little more permatease also than I'm used to on a Beltress style, which again, gives you so many different options in which to style. It is heat friendly, but I just love molding and shaping this style to my heart's content. So much you can do. Off of the face looks are fantastic and so realistic looking.
I could stand in front of the mirror all day and just flirt with the different designs I can make from this one. No styling paste needed. You can create all of this texture and design just using your fingers. So that's why Bulletproof by Beltress has made my top 10 for 2020. So this Ellen Villa style has made an appearance in my top 10 new releases for 2020. This is called Dance in the Color Candy, Blonde Tipped. Uh, this looks familiar because I just reviewed this one last month. Now, Dance is a lace front left monofilament side part. Very, very lightweight. Beautiful color. All of this choppy texture. Light, really light density. Very little permatees. Super easy to wear. Just remember this cap does run more average than the petite average. Um, I believe that this cap would suit petite through average. I love all of the curl. I've had other styles that are similar to this that don't have as much curl. And I think this is just beautiful. It's like a broken spiral. It's been taken down and texturized. Beautiful lace features. Just as cute as can be. One of my go-tos for 2020. So breaking the top 10 of 2020 in my short and pixie style collection category, my picks. This is the new Nima by Noriko in a brand new color called Moonstone. I'm over the moon for this style. I had it in three different colors. You can catch my review on it. This Moonstone is an absolutely gorgeous fashion gray. Very cool in tone, not over the top bluish. But the real show stealer here is this style. Can't get enough of this voluminous, short layered bob. So that four inch bang piece beautifully frames the face. I love that. I think this bang, it's not asymmetrical. I just have it parted on the right hand side. So there's more hair here on the left. I think that's what you're noticing. It's pretty much uh, the same on both sides. Uh, but those fringe pieces are done fantastically. They frame the face nicely. They're nice and they're wispy, um, a bit razored in places. So about a five inch bang piece or a four inch bang piece rather, um, a two inch nape. And this is the standard machine made cap by Noriko. So it's really easy to wear. I love Noriko wigs for the ease of them. Um, that standard cap by Noriko fits beautifully to an average, to a petite average circumference. And um, they generally use a lot of permatease. That's, there's no exception with Nima. Nima has a lot of permatease. You're gonna find most of it here on the top and at the crown. See what a pretty cute bump it there is. Now this has a lot of volume. You really have to love your voluminous short styles to embrace this one. But I think that high voluminous look is the appeal of Nima. So this is Nima in the color Peach Gold, which is another new, brand new shade for 2020 by Noriko. It's only available on a few styles. Oh, it's basically a, a light gold with some peachy, pinky, peachy notes to it. It's more subtle, but it's super warm, as you can tell. Um, it's a creamy blend, so there's not a, a big dramatic highlight pattern or anything. I think it's really beautiful. It's not a rooted color, um, but these fibers spring up so well right out of that cap that it's easy enough just to use some styling to obscure permatees. And honestly, nobody's gonna be looking at the permatees when you sport a beautiful 
cute little voluminous layered cut like this. They're gonna wanna know where you get your hair done. So Raquel Welch cracked the top 10 with this cute little number. This one is flirting with fashion. I have it in a couple different colors, but I'm showing it today in the color Biscuit 1923. This is not the rooted shape. Cute little shaggy style cut. This bang is around four and a half inches, super easy to wear. About a two inch nape, little wedge style back. Lots and lots of texturizing on this style. Looks very modern and flirty. It has a lace front and a full monofilament top. The lace features are done very well. And with that full monofilament top, you have a lot of options to part it. I wore this one Oh, when it first came out, I was wearing it constantly all the time, even go to, even to go to the grocery or something like that. Um, got so many compliments. This one doesn't have a ton of permatease. It's a heat friendly fiber and that will give you the option of doing some things that you could put in a little bit of curl or volume here on the top. Can enhance a part you can bring it off of the face there's just so much you can do here it can be very casual or chic I love my flirting with fashion by Raquel Welch another winner by Raquel Welch came out in the spring of 2020 this was a huge surprise hit for me this one is called ready for takeoff in the color Iced Latte Macchiato RL1723SS. The flexibility and versatility of this little pixie cut is phenomenal. Uh, combined with these fibers that are just so impressionable, this is the heat friendly fiber. And the best thing about this is that it's completely hand tied. So you'll see a hand tied lace front, full hand tied monofilament top, and then a hand tied base all around. It fits beautifully. It feels like air on. Nobody ever guesses that this is a wig. I wore it a lot when I first got this and was just so impressed by it that I set about just doing lots of different stuff with it just to see what it was capable of. And if you've caught this review, you understand just everything that it can do. <laughs> Oh, it's just amazing. So we have about a six and a half inch fringe, which is just absolutely the perfect length for a fringe on this because you can still frame the face. You can get a nice up and over flip if you wanted. Absolutely gorgeous. Now it does also have a three inch nape. So if you do need a little bit of a longer nape, I think this one will fit the bill. Curls around the ears so nicely. I took my mom shopping um, one time during the summer and we ran into somebody we hadn't seen in a very long time. And so we had the co a long conversation caught up and everything. And at the end she said, Terry, your hair looks amazing. She says, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I bought this. And just, you know, you love that connection. You love that, that reaction that you get. Um, but she just said, I would never have guessed that, that was a wig. Come a long way, haven't they? This color is beautiful, a nice, cool, rooted blonde. So yeah, that's all the reasons why this one hit my top 10 short styles and pixies for 2020. Next on my top 10 of short styles and pixies, I want to show you some footage and clips of the Envy Raven. I absolutely adored that style, but I no longer have it. So Raven appears here in the color light blonde. It was a very unique pixie in how it was structured. It looked very much like my own biological hair would because it has a little bit of curl and texture to it. You can flip it up right there at the front. It has a sassy 
appeal to it. It has beautiful coverage. That front piece is about three and a half inches and it kind of wants to flip up to expose that amazing lace front. Uh, but at the same time, you could also comb it to the side or down for a different look. And that's why it made my top 10 for 2020. So here it is, number 10. This will round out my top 10 short style and pixie collection for 2020. This is Henry Margu's Naomi in their brand new color 10613. GR. So in my review, I said that uh, Naomi was chic, yet has an innocent look to it as well. And this is just a real testament to everything just coming together and working. So this is a short little wedge style bob, layered bob, has a little bit of a longer fringe piece here at about seven and a half inches. It has beautiful lace features, a full lace front and left monofilament side part. And these cur this curl, it's just absolutely adorable. And this is why I think that it's really youthful. Um, it has a little bit of an innocent look to it. So it's just generally a wave, kind of a beachy wave. It's been texturized on the ends. It has a little bit of body curl in the back to give it support. It has an ample nape. There's, uh, it's a light, kind of a light density, light permatee style, super easy to wear, looks beautiful. It's been so texturized and uh, thinned here on the sides. I think it just gives it a nice wispy movement and appeal. And I am absolutely in love with it. I have it in two colors now. Just awesome. I'm so glad that I was able to include a Henry Margu style um, in this this year. Now, no offense to any of the other brands that I haven't mentioned. Either there was there were no styles that came out, or maybe I didn't get the chance to explore them. This is just uh, my top 10 of those that I was able to explore and review for everybody. So it won't be long and I'll be coming out with my medium to long top 10 for 2020. Thanks so much for joining me today. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Make it a great year.